Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. Something is going to take a major, major shift, okay? There has been some type of deceit. The Seven of Swords is here. Some type of trickery. Someone has been doing something like underhandedly or, or whatever. Um, but the Seven of Swords can also speak of being um, resourceful. It, it can speak of awareness, okay? It can speak of, obviously, like, yeah, you're aware that somebody has done something to you. Somebody could have done something that could have affected your finances, your overall security and stability with the Nine of Pentacles being here. But I have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, wow, and the Star. So again, whatever this is, it's about to drastically change for you. The Five of Swords is here. So it's something here that you just need to surrender. But someone has been trying to perhaps like project an energy onto you where you're self-sabotaging, I feel. The Five of Swords is here. And then the Lovers. Some of you, someone is, is trying very hard to make you self-sabotage so that you cannot make a major decision in your life about partnerships, relationships. These could be any kind of relationships, okay? Oftentimes, when you are in any kind of spiritual battle or warfare, your, your enemy is oftentimes going to try and make you isolate yourself, to make you walk away from... People who actually love you, care about you, adore you, or it's just a mindset here of constantly thinking or reflecting on the past, on something that hurts you or whatever. This this is some type of, you know, and it is a full moon and I don't want to get into channeling a bunch of about spell work, but oftentimes there's a lot of spell work and manipulation, but we can't even give that too much power and energy. You really have to understand too how... After you've been deceived, after you've been tricked in a situation, even being divine, being chosen, oftentimes we can get into an energy of wanting to pull back away from everything and only focusing on work or finances or career and completely neglecting relationships in your life. I feel like right now you need to be mindful of that and try not to just completely neglect all of your relationships because with the nine of wands there's a bunch of paranoia and fear here but right behind that is the the emperor so something here is taking a positive shift and change um you may not see it or recognize it right away but i feel strongly like you're being spiritually tested to see just how resilient are you in this situation A lot of these cards, these cards, they have yeses and no's on them, or maybe the majority of these cards say yes. So something here for you, it's a yes, but you have an energy, um, and this could be your own mindset. You know, I don't want to always say it's a person or it's a group attacking you. Sometimes the our own wounded mind, mind or wounded inner child can work against us if we're not careful, and the enemy is just going to feed off of that energy. There's been some type of ongoing battle here of feeling drained and weak, weary, tired, even after being very persistent and trying to be resilient. There, there's a real test of, of faith here. Somebody could for sure be going through like some type of financial issues because the five of pentacles was the very first card out. Or someone here has been making decisions because they are afraid of poverty, okay? Having a poverty mindset or a lack mentality because you are a fearful of poverty can actually set you back. What you put most of your focus and your energy and attention into is what is going to manifest. So if someone is just so afraid of losing money, the emperor is here with the seven of swords. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. There is a, a major transformation taking place with like a masculine or a business owner, a boss, um, a father figure. There's a major shift that's happening here. And then the Temperance card. Something has to be balanced out. And I really feel that it's a, a masculine energy for sure who is possibly dealing with financial hardships, losses, um, bad luck unemployment, homelessness, a lot because of how this person has either deceived people or they 
have deceived themselves because the the there's a feminine energy here i feel who is in the nine of pentacles and there's a masculine who you either know this person and they did something to you and they are receiving karma or you're about to meet a person who is going through karma and a spiritual awakening and they may be just starting over in their life because of a mindset. Yeah, the hangman. I knew it. It's something about someone's mindset. If you're like the divine feminine here, and keep in mind, divine feminine could be male or female. Whoever is coming to you with this, this drama or whatever this situation is, you're very... You're, you're very turned off and detached right now. The hangman in the reverse. Somebody is realizing that they're not stuck. I feel like some of you, you have a person in your energy that is stuck. They're stagnant. They're not really progressing or moving forward. This person has some type of lack mentality or they're in a victim consciousness. They're not awakened and aware about something. Okay. Um, this person, until they change their mindset, they're going to be stuck. So right now, if you're in this very independent, stable, prosperous, like energy, you need to make sure that you're protecting that energy. You need to make sure that you're not allowing situations around you to affect your actual new beginning or the opportunities that are coming in for you. The hangman being in the reverse, this is saying like right now, you're not happy about something or you're not, you're not interested in something. I feel like somebody has already gone through like some type of spiritual awakening and they have this level of awareness. So to have a person around you right now who does not recognize a certain type of mindset or behavior that is leaving them in this energy now of being stuck, paranoid, in fear and possibly even in poverty. You're like, no, I just I can't deal with it. But the eight of wands is here. Someone they they move too fast. But this also is an opportunity for you that's about to take off. I feel strongly like you need to make sure as you move forward. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Someone is very determined right now to like take some kind of new opportunity. This is like just seize the moment. You don't need to be impulsive and not think something through. But someone here is about to be very assertive. What I'm really getting for some of you guys, to be honest, if this is like a masculine energy that is coming into your life or is around you, this person, if they've been in a stuck, stagnant energy, it seems like the, a feminine is pulling their energy back. This is about to make someone really chase you. The two of swords, yeah. And the ace of pentacles. Someone was, was very indecisive about an ace of pentacles offer somebody also it's a lot connected here with love and finances a lot there's a stalemate energy here or somebody being at a crossroads but the reason why is because this person is waiting on some type of financial opportunity or breakthrough somebody is waiting on money they're waiting on an inheritance and investment they're they're waiting on something to manifest that will allow them to actually have or like have more security and stability so that they're able to offer more security and stability this person though has been torn but something here is being renewed something is is going to heal so for some of you, even if you're like in a relationship, if there's been a rough patch in your relationship, say for instance, if one of you is experiencing um, financial issues, job loss or something like that, something here is about to shift and change. Yeah, here is the star clarifying, being clarified with the king of cups and the page of swords. The king of cups is someone who's healing. They're trustworthy. This is someone who is emotionally intelligent. So, and then the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is also someone, we say it's like gossiping, spying, but it's also the type of person who is looking into a situation. To me, it's a, it's a researcher. 
Somebody could be looking into places to move, to relocate to. The Page of Swords is a card of planning. And then the King of Cups. Somebody, although they have a lot of stuff happening in their life around them, this person right now is, is planning. They're, they're thinking about the future. Hmm. I'm not getting bad intentions from somebody. I'm getting a bad situation, but not bad intentions. Yeah, the lovers is here. Somebody just feels defeated. Also, I feel too with this five of swords, somebody is realizing like they, they want to surrender to a connection. Somebody has for sure pulled their energy back though. And I feel like it's a divine feminine energy. Yeah, the lovers with the queen of pentacles. This is all about abundance. Somebody wants to make a choice to go towards a queen of pentacles or to have some kind of partnership or a contract with a queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is someone who's usually nurturing down to earth, could definitely be like a business owner. And then the high priestess. Yeah, this is a spiritual awakening. Somebody is, is surrendering now and the hierophant. Somebody is, is finally surrendering. Um, they're, they're getting in touch with their higher self, with the Hierophant. The Knight of Pentacles is underneath it. Somebody wants to come in because the Knight of Pentacles going to this, this Queen of Pentacles. Something here is not exactly equally yoked, but somebody is like, well, I know something is in balance now, but the King of Wands, let me figure out how to make this balance. The Two of Wands, somebody's like, let me make a decision to find the strength and the courage to move forward. Knight of Wands, the Chariot, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. Somebody is about to stir up something really, really big. Six of Wands and then the freaking Three of Cups. Somebody is having an awakening. The Moon card and the Tower. Somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. They're learning everything that, they, like... They're seeing the truth about a divine feminine, the empress. Somebody is dreaming, like, almost obsessive at this point. Somebody has had some kind of revelation or epiphany about a divine feminine. And they're like, listen, I have to have a relationship with that person. Someone feels... <laughs> I see what this is. Somebody is coming into the awareness that... Something about their soul contract that has everything to do with their abundance, I feel. It's tied to a partnership with a divine feminine. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It's just somebody is like, whatever idea or whatever situation I have, I need to take it to this, divine, this queen of pentacles, divine feminine. This person is something about this high. This is a, a divine feminine high priestess. Queen of Pentacles, someone very, very stable, very grounded. Yeah, this person is mysterious. This person is intuitive. Okay, but this person brings a lot of stability and security because of their wisdom and knowledge. You have a masculine now that is like the five of swords, the lovers. I need to just surrender to whatever this is. This could even be a young male because the Knight of Pentacles is here surrendering to whatever their mother has said. Somebody here has been trying to do something their own way and really go against the grain. And I feel like all they're doing is landing themselves in more and more poverty. They're out in the cold. They don't understand something because this person does not have the spiritual wisdom and knowledge that this Queen of Pentacles high priestess has. This person now is saying, you know what? With the Knight of Pentacles, I need to change my routine. I need to figure out how to get money in in a more unconventional way i need to whatever this divine feminine high priestess queen of pentacles is saying i need to listen to it because somebody is they're they're down bad on their luck but this to me there is something here that is for sure romantic for some of you somebody the the hierophant here has a certain way of looking at things they're coming out of this um like maybe this person is very religious or because you, the hierophant is here and the high priestess. So this person could be the type that, you know, is very status quo, very traditional. They're realizing now, like, hey, I need to wake up the judgment card. Like I said, look at this. You have the tower and the moon. And that, to me, would for sure be like this Pisces full moon that we just had. 
someone here is realizing that their own behaviors is causing a lot of destruction in their life. Also, there is some type of illusion here with the moon card. Someone, I'm telling it's self-sabotage. It's like illusions, um, a lot of sub like subconscious fears, and this comes from a lot of outdated thinking and programming. And this person is now having some type of awakening. This person, it doesn't matter how many options they have or opportunities, it seems like they're constantly running into bad luck because of how they think or they see, they perceive certain situations. But in the midst of this happening, someone here is realizing that many things in their life has been transforming, I feel, since they met this divine feminine or this empress. Or again, like I said, this could be someone's child. Just like, wow, mom really does know best. But someone here also is thinking to themselves that they want to have a child with a divine feminine. The empress is, go this is pregnancy, it's fertility, it's mother, wow, Labor Day. That's what I said at the beginning of the reading. Wow. Wow. Somebody wants to start a family or something with the divine feminine, possibly. This person is feeling hopeless right now, though, because of their financial situation. But this person's financial situation is here to teach them a, a major lesson about mindset. Somebody doesn't know how to align their thoughts with abundance because of their poverty mindset and their victim consciousness. This is somebody who most likely they're like a, a natural born leader, but they haven't tapped into their own power. The ace of wands, look at all these wands here. There's nothing but wands, okay? And I don't, I, I'm, I don't know, but Again, I'm not getting something negative, but this 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 is like a separate thing that I just want to mention. Some of you, somebody here has had a sex addiction or somebody was trying to do sex magic or something like that and it backfired. Somebody could have been hopeless about a situation and they thought that maybe trying to use sex magic to manifest was going to help them. It didn't, you can't do that to an actual high priestess. If you try to do something like that to a high priestess, what it will result in is poverty for you. You cannot ever try to tamper with or steal the energy of a sacred divine being. You cannot do that. And if somebody did that to a divine feminine, they're realizing now like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That person is really protected. Somebody has realized that somebody, a divine feminine is indeed the real deal because they tried to do something sneaky and conniving and it did not work. This person tried to balance something out. And it seems like they did this out of fear, out of being in survival mode. But this person now with the devil, I'm not really getting a bad energy. I'm getting more of this person. If you're not careful, this person can become very dependent on you. And that's the reason why the nine of pentacles is here with the hangman in the reverse. You're like, I'm not interested in this. Because I feel strongly with the nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, high priestess, divine feminine empress out here. This person they do embody this divine masculine energy for sure. But the nine of wands is here. They have not quite gotten to that emperor energy. Like, I feel like this person, they have good intentions, but this is someone that it's, mm, how can I put this? This person is in a distorted energy because of their mindset. It's not that they're a bad person. It's not that they're a liar, cheater, schemer, scammer. No, this person is not as awakened as this divine feminine. Therefore, they're not as aware of the fact that at times they're in a victim consciousness and it's prohibiting this person from manifesting. And I feel like the divine feminine 
is a very powerful manifesto. The Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Divine Feminine has no problem with manifesting wealth, abundance, security, stability. That's because of, of Divine Feminine's spiritual path, journey, wisdom, knowledge, and mindset. This person's mindset is their thoughts and beliefs are very distorted. I also feel too with all of these wands, this is the type of person who has done things um, very, very quick. Like they've made impulsive decisions that has put them in the hole. And now they're trying to get out of that because they're going through an awakening. And this person now wants to be with this divine feminine. This person is addicted to the divine feminine, honestly. And they may not be showing signs of it, but I can tell you in this reading, this person feels like they need to be very connected to this divine feminine. It's a spiritual transformation happening. Wow, the devil, the empress, the death, the moon, the seven of cups, yeah. Somebody ran into a divine feminine that has for, like pushed them into a dark night of the soul or some type of spiritual transformation. And now this person, they're making choices. They're making the choices that a, a leader should make. This person is stepping into their divinity because they see the strength and the courage. And as I said before, there's a divine feminine here who is holding their energy back. This divine feminine is like, no, I'm not coming down there to get you. You're going to have to come up to meet me where I am. And this person is like, oh, okay. The three of cups is here. This could be someone right now that, you know, it's a friendship. They're a part of your soul family. They want to so, like celebrate with you, but you're like, where's your passion? You, I feel like somebody is asking someone, where is your passion for your soul purpose? Do you know your soul purpose, like this divine feminine is speaking a, a different language to this person and it's waking them up. They're like, oh, shoot. Wow. OK. It's a high priestess. This person is very um, modest, like I said, mysterious, quiet. But this person, this high priestess, queen of pentacles, empress, this is a powerhouse. For sure. This divine feminine is a real powerhouse spiritually and like financially. This is a very mature and divine being. You have a, a masculine out here who is on their way to being divine, but right now they're distorted. This may be the type of person that thinks like, oh, they should have some kind of power and control because, you know, I'll be honest, maybe because they're a man or whatever the case may be. And they're quickly realizing, oh, no. Whatever you did in the past, you can't do it with this divine feminine. And it's making this person completely just captivated. They're like, wow, this is different. I mean, there's so much fire here. Like somebody's soul, that's what it, somebody's soul has been set on fire. Look, the six of swords. The Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Divine Feminine was like, no, get, get, get yourself together. Go find God and then you come back and you talk to me. And this person, I feel like whatever you said to this person, it has them thinking. They're healing, they're resting, they're retreating, and they're realizing they've made a decision. Oh, yeah, this is my absolute wish fulfillment. Because they're seeing in their past, they've been working really, really hard. They can't maintain anything. Anything. It's because of their mindset. This King of Pentacles person, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavily aspected in their chart. Again, it's about their security and their stability. This person, ha this person has burdens because they're not secure, especially in their finances. This person could be a people pleaser. They don't know how to stand their ground to their friends or their family because of their mindset. And I feel like this divine feminine is like, listen, you're going to have to learn how to be more, more passionate about the things that you want in life. And you're going to have to learn how to stand your ground if you want to be around me. And this doesn't have to be romantic. This is even in business. Somebody's like, if you don't know how to make decisions and stand firmly on your own, then don't come around me. 
I feel like somebody is like really putting a soulmate or a twin flame like in check, seriously. Because the Queen of Swords with Divine Feminine is saying this, listen, I've I've done my healing. I will continue to heal, but I will I will walk away from you. Somebody has this feels almost like an unspoken ultimatum. It's like energetically, somebody is like, listen. <laughs> If you don't match my vibration, do know that I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. Yeah, we could have it all together, but I, I'm not doing this with you. Because if you're if you're an emperor, you should know better. This is very much like if you know better, then do better. And I feel like when divine feminine has sent this message out to this masculine, even energetically, the masculine is now resting and retreating. It's forcing them to heal. This person is having fear and anxiety now, though, about will they be able to take this leadership role on their divine path and have and have justice and have this wish come true, this wish fulfillment. This person keeps prioritizing other things or situations in their life. It's like this person, no matter how hard they work, they're still juggling. This person definitely has financial issues. It's because they don't, they, it's a mindset. This person has aligned themselves with poverty because of the way that they think. Yeah, the king of swords is here. This person could be very selfish. Yeah, very selfish. Seven of wands. This person operates out of fear too. This king of swords, seven of wands. Yeah. This person operates out of fear. And 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 also, again, it's something about that hierarchy energy. This person's traditions, their family, and the things that they stand up for. I feel like Divine Feminine is just like, child, you're standing up for a bunch of stuff that's not even serving you. Do you even know what you're standing up for? This person is constantly standing so firmly uh, up for their beliefs and trying to fight and defend things that will bring them absolutely no honor. And divine feminine is like, yeah, okay, bye. This person is trying to maintain control. So this person's fear and control issues and not knowing how to actually surrender is the reason why they're in poverty. And they're looking at this divine feminine like, well, I want to be on this path with this divine feminine, but they're not aligned. Divine feminine can't be with a person who's not open-minded. So one who is so structured and disciplined and status quo, like, what are you doing? I feel like the bottom of this is just like, no. You can do that somewhere else. Okay, patience. For some of you, this is your person. <laughs> Love and patience are here for some of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This person is going through a complete ego death because they have their eye on this divine feminine. And divine feminine, I feel, is losing patience in this situation. Phoenix rising. Yeah, divine feminine is like, I've already gone through this major spiritual transformation. And the person that you're either with or that you are about to connect with, this person, they have to go through their own spiritual transformation and heal their inner child. Yeah, soulmate. Your soulmate is already around you. If you look at this card, they're just not as awakened and aware as you. So right now, this person is going to have to fight against the temptation of whatever they're dealing with. And Spirit is saying, yeah, you should continue to say what you mean and mean what you say. You need to put up firm. You need to have boundaries with this person. This person still has a hole in their soul. But Spirit is saying for you to have faith in the situation. This is a test of faith and patience. You're guiding this person whether you know it or not. <laughs> but looking at this card, I feel like um, there's a divine feminine energy that's like, I will eat you up and spit you out if you want to sell out to your friends and your family. Because all you're doing is self-sabotaging yourself and you lack courage and, and, and faith. Somebody's friends and family, their religion, their background, them wanting to show up a certain way in the world that's not aligned with their purpose it's pushing a counterpart away 
But I feel like this person is getting, a, I'm telling you, this person is for sure getting a message spiritual where they're like, whoa, if I don't hurry up and get this together, I'm going to surely, surely miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime. This person is, is scared. They're like, uh-oh. I just keep hearing, uh-oh. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Yeah. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. This is a soulmate. There's a lot of passion here. And this person wants a second chance or this person just wants a chance. But they have to heal. Somebody here has met a very high vibing divine feminine. And they're like, oh my goodness. What do I do with this? <laughs> An addiction. This person is codependent. And you've already done the work. That's the reason why you have so much abundance. This person is obsessed with you. And I don't feel for some of you, I don't even think that this is like um, a person from your your like past past. For some of you, this is someone either around you now or that's about to enter your life. And this is just kind of what's going on. They're going to be completely obsessed with you. But see, there is a there's an external party intruding on this relationship. This person could have an ex that's still very much addicted to them. I don't feel like this person is addicted to someone. They could have someone that's addicted to them. But yeah, you have her stability and children, friendship and finances. What did I say? Boundaries and time apart released. Yeah. This is something that is going to the next level, but you just, you need to have boundaries. Don't go down and meet this person where they are. You forced them. They need to come up to where you are. And yeah, this, this showed up in the reading. You are sending a message to this person. You're disconnecting. You're, you're leaving, you're like energetically disconnecting and this person, they can feel it. They can feel that you're accepting that the two of you are different, that their mindset is not aligned with your mindset and therefore things are not working. This is the kind of person that they have a hard head. They're very prideful and stubborn. They're going to be coming back to you soon, though. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups with an offer. Because this person is heartbroken. They're devastated without you. Completely. So now, there's a separation or this person has to go within and do some soul searching. Some self-reflection. And they're going to realize that their mental entrapment, this, this conflict, this ongoing battle that they have in their own mind, is the reason why they can't get to the Ten of Cups. Yeah, but here's the love. <laughs> it, it's coming. Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This just takes patience. It says this friendship is leading to more. For some of you, this is a friend or someone that you have kind of like a casual relationship with maybe. This person is experiencing financial challenges, but I'm telling you, the reason why this person is, is experiencing these challenges is because God is trying to teach this person something about their mindset. This person doesn't understand how important their mindset is when it comes to manifesting. And that's why they're stuck in poverty. And they have a victim consciousness and they sell out when it comes to their friends and family. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this really requires patience. For some of you. And I mean, it's totally your choice. But I mean, sometimes... A person that comes into your life who's actually meant to be in your life. You know, it's, of course, as we, as we always say, it can be a reason, a season, or a lifetime. This simply may be someone that you're meant to guide to help them on their spiritual path. But this person, they love you. That doesn't mean that you're going to be with them forever. But you are meant to meet this person. They're meant to meet you. Um, There's a lesson here. And I feel like... You're being taught, especially if you're the divine feminine, you're being taught a serious lesson about patience and about grace because you will meet a lot of people who are not quite on your level spiritually. That doesn't mean that they're not going to get there. This person is the temperance. This person, they embody this earth angel energy as well. Again, they just right now are a bit stuck in ego. 
and their conditioning. I feel like for some of you, this person could be very um, religious and there's nothing wrong with being religious, but they're, they have outdated beliefs. So let's see what the, so when you meet this person, because for some of you, you haven't met them yet. Just know that the problem here is not a third party as in perhaps another like lover. For some of you, it's this person's family and friends and their mindset. They're just healing. We've all been there before, you know. Boundaries. Stop. Speak up. Have self-discipline. Don't let this person drag you to a place where you, you've already come out of. Don't, don't do that. If you know you've already mastered some type of, yeah, holding back, hiding facts. If you've already mastered some kind of situation, you don't ever have to go back to a lesson to teach it. You're now the teacher. You're no longer the student. That's what this is. You're now the teacher. You're not the student. Therefore, to teach a lesson, you don't have to read. You shouldn't have to relive it. So be careful with whoever this person is in your life. And it could be a friend, family member, or whomever. They're trying to learn something about manifestation that you've already mastered. And this could be a lot of people in your life right now. They're going to really try to connect with you and, and attach themselves to you. But they're, I feel like you need to hold back. Seriously, you need to have boundaries and hold back. You don't need to tell these people everything. Contemplation. Somebody is thinking a lot. They know that they have to make some big decisions soon. Wow. Twin flame. <laughs> signs. Your twin flame is getting signs that they're supposed to marry you. And again, this may not be someone that you've had a relationship with. Wow. This person's going to tell you soon that they're sorry. I feel like this person has possibly had like a dream about you. Yeah, you should just relax. This is being in that true feminine, like divine energy. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, telepathy. Telepathy, good karma. Let's pull a few more. You need to hold back. Some of you need to make sure that with a particular person, now isn't the time for you to be drinking, partying, and celebrating. This person needs to have time to make some decisions. Yeah, about their finances. Because this person, they want to be a provider. Yeah. And they want to have a fresh start. But they need to take some time out to address some of the lies that they've either told to you, other people, or to themselves. Spirit is just saying right now, wait. You don't have to be waiting on this person. You just don't. You don't need to be putting any more action into this situation. I feel like somebody here, especially divine feminine high priestess. People need to prove to you what, what, what they're coming around to do. You're the one with the knowledge. Knowledge gives you great power. So, no, you don't bend down or lower yourself or your standards for anybody. This person, they need to rise up. And I feel like that's what your spiritual team actually wants for you and whoever this person is again it could be a family member spirit is saying no don't make this easy for this person your karma for this person good karma yeah look because this person is unawakened they're ruled by ego now they're missing you because they see that you have all of this self-worth yeah you're the way you treat yourself it's teaching this person how to treat you and themselves. But this this is some kind of divine connection. Wow. This is this is good. This is when you really start doing the spiritual work. You're 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 look, family. 
and bad influences. This person has people in their life that's not of a good influence on them at all. And I feel like it's just the way that they've been taught about like marriage, family, and finances. This person, unfortunately, maybe this person grew up in poverty and there's nothing wrong, but they haven't been able to shift their mindset out of that. And that's the problem here. With all of their, their um, gifts, talents, and abilities, their mindset is still stuck in, they, it's, a, it's a poverty mindset. You and this person right now could be going through a breakup, or you will, but it's saying here, be patient. Yeah, because there's some kind of drama here. And you know, financial issues can is one of the leading causes of divorce and separation. You know, when people's money is funny, everything is going wrong. This person's mindset, though, is the reason why they always have bad luck. They just attract bad luck and poverty because that's what they align themselves with. I feel like this person wants the world and they would love to share share that with a special person. But still, they it's not even so much a part. It's fear. This person fears poverty or something. That's what they're afraid. This person's in survival mode and they're afraid. Enchanted love is here. So it's some type of sacred bond that is being divinely guided with you and this person. Wow. Ecstasy. And annoyance. I feel like this person is annoyed by like how happy you make them. <laughs> Spirit says slow down. You may want this to, to happen now, but this needs to be something where this person, court they need to court you. They need to be able to show and prove that they understand. They need to learn the law of attraction. Yeah, before you can really get yoked in with this person, they're going to have to learn some lessons for sure about manifestation. Some of you, you're going to teach this person things about manifestation, about healing, shadow work. That's, that's needed. Price of love. It says, are you willing to make an investment when it comes to love? Are you ready to pay the toll? Remember that love is not a destination, but a journey. Yeah. Some of you, this, this could very well be your person, but you're just more awakened and aware. Right now, in this season, you are. There's some things that they know that you don't know. This is where the soulmate twin flame situations, they get tricky. And, and you realize that it's not all rainbows, lollipops, um, Marvin Gaye lingerie. I'm pretty sure that this person knows some things that you don't know. But you know something that they don't know. And in this season, whatever you know, they need it. So the roles are sort of reversing unexpected news. So this person or you are is about to get some type of news that could really affect this connection or this, this relationship. And you may need to take some time out to try to process this information. It could be something good or bad. I said before, somebody could be relocating, changing jobs. Somebody could have lost a job. Somebody could be finding out that they are expecting right now and the relationship may not be in the best, the best place but you have here happily ever after wow somebody is fantasizing about happily ever after but you need to have boundaries with this person because i feel that there is still some type of unhealthy soul tie or attachment that one of you or both of you have but at some point the two of you you will end up i feel together because you're mirrored souls hmm. I think overall, this is a good energy. And looking at it, the deck we have here, the temperance card. So that's like a, it's a balancing act. It's changing your perspective. Um, this is also changing your perspective a lot about love. I feel like you're dealing with someone, though, that's changing their perspective about success. What does success really mean? Or vice versa. You're learning what love really is. And they're learning what success is. Or both of you are just learning you're, you're having a shift in consciousness and perspective about those things. And now that you're shedding the old weight and the old mindset and way of thinking, 
you now have to align with this higher vibration and with this higher vibration it's like um getting acclimated to something new it is going to require a bit of patience for you to have like a a peaceful harmonious relationship this person doesn't understand finances the way that you do or you don't understand how this person processes information you and this person just have different backgrounds that's just what it is i mean it's it's clear i feel like somebody here is religious and someone is spiritual somebody came from money and somebody did not so as you get closer with this type of person there's challenges and what this really comes down to is do you know how to actually compromise? And with compromising, this letting go of conditioning. It's reparenting yourself, understanding that, oh, there is a different way to do things, especially when it comes to financial matters and matters of the heart. How you've been taught to do it or how you've been doing it, it's not going to work in this situation. But this very well could be the situation that's meant for you.